right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've made it. I'm off work. It's about 5.23. I went and got me some minnows, and I made it down to the Urban Canal. So, I'm going to see if I'm up to it. I'm going to be up under the bridge because it's super hot temp. So, right now, it's 106 degrees. It's 5.23. And I got everything loaded up back here. The boat is on the back. I'm going to go up under the bridge. Fish up under there with, with minnows and then um, come out about seven o'clock and I'm gonna fish some brush piles where I drop some, uh, um, right in front of that brush where you saw me fishing one time and catching crappies, I actually drop some brush down there too. That's why I always be saying that it's brush uh, out in front of that brush pile. It just, it's just up under water because I dropped something down there. So we're gonna see if we can catch up some fish let me get my mind right, get ready to unload everything and get up in this heat. And it's a little wind. So I'll show you the current here when I get out. So as you can see, you got a little current, which up under that bridge will give me a little wind. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. So we're about to get started here in one, two, three. Now I'm not gonna be out in this deep water because the deep water out here is like 15 feet. But I'm not gonna be out in it right now. And I'm running that bridge like seven or eight feet or seven feet. So that's where I'm gonna be at until it get a little bit darker. But see how that slides in? Easy. This is a good little spot to to, look, to uh, put in at. And I just put it. I just come in right here, and I got everything I need. I just step on. Okay, yeah, I got everything. So this canal is not really deep, you guys. You do have moments where it dries up. It might be kind of hard to get out here, or you might have to just push a little bit. But pretty much, it's pretty easy to get out here. So once I get out here, I got my paddle. And I just push off. It's like a foot deep right here. So you gotta push off a little bit. Now somebody got a, a mental trap right here. I don't know if they got anything in there. Let me see. Like some dead fish, but it's a mental trap right there. It's pretty cool to see. But somebody out here is fishing. So you do got a little current. But that ain't gonna that ain't gonna bother me. All right, let me drop this down in. So we can get going, and hopefully we catch some fish today. Hopefully, hopefully we catch crappie. They always catch fish, but hopefully we can catch some crappie. Kind of bag up a little bit, even this boat out. Two hundred sixty pound in that battery. Have that back end low, and that front end high. What happened? Ooh. I think I got one. You got first crappie, you know. Oh, it's a bass. I was hoping it was a crappie, but it's a bass. I got one here too. Nope. That line went slack. Jeez. There you go. Little bass. Okay. That's my action. I'm just gonna drift. That's all I'm gonna do. And see if anything can hit them. See if I can catch what I'm looking for. There we go. So, this one, there we go. I'm just gonna, you can see, I got the trolling motor going backwards actually, and I'm barely, barely moving, you guys. I think I'm getting a bite right here. There we go, got one. Big old crappie, big old crappie trolling, you guys. First crappie in a long time. I might have one on this one too, or not. There we go.
It's a keeper. I ain't got to measure it. That's a keep. First crappie in a long time. Trolling. Under the bridge. So, let me get back over here. All right, guys, this is my first keeper crappie since probably May. About 11 inches long here. And uh, there you go, get a better look. White crappie and first crappie. So it's about to go down. Okay, so. So now, where my so I gotta put on this stringer here, just because uh, I didn't bring a buggy with me. I thought I did, but I did. Hmm. Hopefully, I can get about ten of them. Hopefully. There we go. You ain't going nowhere, brother. What did I have? You ain't going nowhere but to the house. All right. Let's get back out there. The proud I ain't got nothing on this one. Maybe I'm too deep. Let's see. No, I don't think I'm too deep. I don't think so. I'm gonna get on the bottom here. Let me see. Let me get on the bottom. Okay, I'm on the bottom. It's only like about seven foot. And there we go. So let me get the other one back in. I want it to be down like that. There we go. Now he barely, barely tapped it. Until I just saw the pole bending just a little bit. Not much at all. Wasn't aggressive. Wasn't aggressive at all. Ain't gonna about to get one on this other one here. Yep, it's bouncing. It's I'm catching these out in the open. The, the, the pole over there, I'm right in the middle here. It's just basically trolling around. Here's the crazy thing, people. It could be so many. It could be so many uh, crappies uh, hanging down here on the bottom here. They just ain't biting. This water's so hot. It might start up tonight, but maybe it's the way it be sometime. But we're gonna try and see what we can do. We're gonna try to get us some. Um, if I can get five, that'd be great. On a 106 degree day, I hear. 105, that'd be great. If I can get five, let's get back at it. Nothing. I'm gonna hold this one here. See if I can feel any kind of tug or anything. I just don't think they'll be shallow. I don't. I just think they'll be on that bottom. You got one. Got another big one. Another big one, you guys. 
That big old slab. Ooh, they on that bottom. I'm, I'm, I'm deep. They are on that bottom. Look at this fish here. You didn't get to see it in the camera. But boom. Boom. <laughs> and I'm about seven feet deep. This one right here has the mineral with the jig on it. The uh, monkey milk tube. So let me throw that back out there. Let me get, get you a white crappie. Nice one too. This is a very, very good one. Here you go. I am. That is a nice crappie you got. 11 and a half uh, inch fish right here. So let's get this on the string and let's keep going. Come on, I, I didn't make it too tight, did I? Oh, no, nah, I didn't make it too tight. There we go. There we go. All right. So, crappie number two. It's good crappie. They weigh over. They weigh over 10 inches for sure. There you go. Okay, let's get back over there. Let's get back over there. So I got a minnow here. Yeah, I got a minnow here. Yeah, about seven. Yeah. Now I caught that one in my hand, so I, I probably wasn't seven feet, I probably was five maybe. Because I did have that in my hand. I try to like just imagine the depth, you know. And I picked that up. It was up like this right here, you guys. So I'm thinking I was about five feet. Which is okay. I worked this whole area until uh until I figure out now that one. I got one with just a minnow. And I got one with a minnow and a jig on it. And a, and a, monkey milk tube on it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get it right back out there I think I had it in the mouth just like that right there just like that and we're gonna just now this one, I'm gonna keep my hand I want to feel it I might be missing fish they, they bite so subtle so I might be missing I had to hit just then you guys so I'm about to go back to that first brush pile where I would catch those copies there my last copy video on my keepers in a way and see if we can get some right there but I got two so far so let's see what happens that's wrong over here that's the way it need to be Go, you guy. Oh, that was a big crappie. That was a big crappie. I get back down there. That was a big one right there. Get right back where I need to be. Let's see if I can start catching me some. I'm gonna troll over here and see what happens. Got that one bite right here, and that was it.
Got another crappie right here. Another keeper. Another keep. Hey, over there. There you go. About right at 10 inches right here. It might start up for me. So that's three. I'm gonna get right back over there. Jump right back. I got three. Jump right back in that area. Get right back on. I missed a real big one though. It was heavy. All right, there we go. Let's get back over there. So that one wasn't deep, actually. I caught that about six feet up in the brush, actually. Up in that brush. So. Oh, them men have died quick. Let me put some on. Um, let me put some more water in here. And see if uh if they come back alive. Come back alive, you guys. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll see. It might not. Let me get back over there. See if I can get me about one or two more before I leave. See if I can get me about one or two more before I get out of here. Right in front of that brush. Let's see. There we go. All right. I turned around. And we had to work our way over here. Wait a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, I should get a bite with this minnow. I should. We'll see what happens. It's pretty lively. There we go. Now I'm talking about a big one, you guys. A big one. Oh, pound and a half. Pound and a half. God, doggy. Lord have mercy. Look at that monster right there, you guys. Woo! That may be almost a two-pounder. Let me give you guys a better look at this. God, when that tail wide like that, you got a man. You got a grown man. Look at that. Jesus Christ. That's a pretty, pretty fish. Let me get back over there, guys. I'm going to waste my time here. I would talk a little bit more to you guys, but... I don't want to waste my time and miss my fish. Got one right. Ooh, I had a bite just then. That pole got the bending. It's going to start up. I'm going to probably put one of these poles up, maybe. But that pole was bending right there. I saw it. That's a big crappie right there. That's a man right there. It's a grown man. There you go. Starting to add up. Starting to add up. We're gonna have some crappies tomorrow. All right, let me get back over there. All right, so the minnows are dead, but guess what? I guarantee they'll probably they hit them dead minnows. 
if they start. There you go, got another one. Got another one. Another keep. Just drop and dine there, you guys. Pulling them out. Before it get dark. Let me get off and out here. Let me get off over there. Dead, that, that was a dead minnow right there. Another one. So. So I got my five for the day. All right, guys. So that's it for today. So I did pretty good, as you can see. Got some nice ones there. And uh, head on to the house. It's getting kind of windy, and I think we got some storms coming. You can see the clouds, but it's start eight o'clock, and it's probably eight something now. All right, so thanks for watching as always. Uh, thanks for the subscribes, the new subscribers, and the ones that are already subscribed. Thank you guys. That felt good to catch some crappies. I haven't caught crappies in a long time. You guys know that. I've been on those bluegills. So I'm probably going to get back on the crappies now that I know that the, uh, they're hitting those millions out here um, on the weekend. Today was just after work, so I didn't have that much time. But on the weekend, early in the mornings, I hit that brush pile. I dropped the brush right in front of it. Um, and then a couple other brush powders on the other end. And I hit those pillars right down there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you don't have a, uh, if you like to subscribe, please do. I like how you part of the family. Let me get out this water to get this stuff loaded up. And we're going to eat some crappies. Maybe tonight or tomorrow. Thanks. I have a blessed day.